at 530, a historic neighborhood on the near east side of Indianapolis is asking for your help to keep its unique charm. Tonight, Marion County reporter Lauren Costick takes us to Woodruff Place and shows us the fight to restore several iconic fountains. It's a sound that's become a part of this neighborhood. A calming tune for residents like Bill and Cynthia Longest. The couple has called Woodruff Place home since 1999. When I first moved in, I thought the holes in the ground with the spouts were always there. And when I found the original pictures from the 1800s, it was like, I can't believe all these were here. The Near East Side neighborhood dates back to 1872 and was the first suburb in Indianapolis. And that historic charm is why neighbors like Debbie Pigeon fell in love with it. Yeah. It's a small town within the city. Today, it is still known for its Victorian style homes, long esplanades, vintage statues, and nine historic fountains. But many of those fountains need to be repaired, with pieces taken out in the 70s. So to see what they were in the late 1800s and in their grand allure, and what they are now is, is not comparable. And that's why neighbors are raising money, working to restore them. This year, focused on the Northwest Fountain, and the price tag is about $200,000. No longer just the top of the goose girl. The goose girl will actually be watering and feeding geese. Volunteers hope to bring it back to life with a 17-foot statue that matches the original. I'm trying to make it a community gathering place. And this group has been raising money since 2017. So far, they have been able to restore one fountain, which was completed four years ago and sits right in front of Craig Bowen's house. So I was taking care of that fountain before the restoration and then the year after that, uh, before we restored it, it was a lot of work. Now adding to the charm of the neighborhood, hoping five others will do the same. They provide a, a beautiful atmosphere that make it like a, a park that's like no other in the city. You can find a link on how to donate on our website at WTHR.com. In Indianapolis, Lauren Caustic, 13 News. Thanks, Lauren. So once the second fountain is complete, there are four more left to restore. Also, Woodruff Place is maintained by the residents there. They clean the fountains, they fix the historic lights, and they also paint the statues.